In a prairie vernacular, we find examples of artists responding to politics and religion on the prairies. The works help to show us that we are all connected. These artists are not working in isolation, cut off from the world around them. Rather, they are responding to the current issues of their time and the values in society that impact their lives. Through these works, we recognize how politics and religion impact our society and culture and deeply affect us. This can be a source of inspiration for prairie artists. We see expressions of identity. Artists may include symbols to reflect their cultural background. For example, Dmitro Stryak references the Ukrainian Orthodox religion in his home country, and Johan Maka's work speaks to his Catholic upbringing in Lithuania. Johan Maka immigrated to Canada in 1927 and settled in Flin Flon, Manitoba in 1942. He worked as a hard rock miner until his retirement in 1965 when he was encouraged by his godson, artist Tony Allison, who was an art student at the University of Manitoba at the time. He used both traditional and alternative painting media inventively to create images from both memory and the imagination. His whimsical and symbolic imagery is often compared to the Russian Jewish artist Marc Chagall. Dmitro Stryak is known for his portraits, including those of political figures such as Pierre Trudeau and Queen Elizabeth. His images often have the look of a snapshot or a quick photo taken with a camera. They are inspired by or come from mass media sources of photos, such as photos of famous people we might see nowadays on the internet, in magazines, or on TV. Dmitro Stryak was born in Ukraine in 1899 and immigrated to Canada in 1923, eventually settling near Hafford, Saskatchewan. He worked for the Canadian National Railway for 38 years and made small works of art with ink and pencil. Upon retirement, he began painting prolifically with brilliant colored paints. His whimsical inventiveness and intuitive awareness of color and composition attracted the attention of many curators and historians. Henry Baudry's painting, Treaty No. 6, Battleford Area, presents the historic signing of Treaty 6 in 1876, reflecting a moment in our country's colonialist history when political agreements were made between the Government of Canada and Cree, Nakoda, and Ojibwe chiefs and leaders. Plains Cree artist Henry Beaudry was born on Poundmaker First Nation in 1921 near North Battleford, Saskatchewan, the great-grandson of Plains Cree chief Poundmaker. After attending residential school in Delma, Saskatchewan, he joined the Canadian Army in 1941, was wounded and captured in 1944, and remained a prisoner of war until liberation in 1945. He returned to Saskatchewan, where he and his wife Teresa lived on Mosquito First Nation. While working on the Canadian National Railway, he contracted pneumonia and in 1958 began sketching and eventually painting, expressing the life and culture of the Cree through his own eyes. Joe Fafard has created many sculptural portraits of our country's political figures, such as Pierre Trudeau, John Diefenbaker, and Jean Chrétien. Fafard's sculptures show us his great attention to detail, but they are not just exact copies of a person. His sculptures connect us with the person's humanity, their personality, their emotions, and their life force. At times, the work gives us a hint of the artist's own personal and political insights. The sculptures of domesticated farm animals or portraits of town locals, historic and contemporary artists or political figures, serve as metaphors, social and political statements, and objects of humor, which have all been characterized by his connection to his rural Saskatchewan roots, his reverence for art history, and his inquiry into form. Joe Fafard was born to French-Canadian parents in rural St. Marth, Saskatchewan in 1942. Joe studied fine arts at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg and in Pennsylvania. He taught sculpture and pottery at the University of Saskatchewan from 1968 to 1974, when he settled in Penn, Saskatchewan to work as a full-time sculptor. 
In 1985, he opened the bronze foundry, Julien Atelier, in Pence. Jerry Kaiser's paintings of contemporary scenes of Moustra are political in their social commentary regarding consumer waste, environmental responsibility, and social welfare. Always interested in woodworking, during an adult education night class in 1973, he began making furniture, continuing until his house was full, at which point he turned to art. His work tends to address difficult and controversial issues, sometimes with a touch of cynical humor, which opens up dialogue to many harsh realities. Learn more about the other themes in the exhibition and the rest of the AGSM Art Connects video series, which brings you up close and personal to works of art as you meet artists from the prairies.